The false pattern is radar vectors to a nine mile VFR straight in. Initially on your IFR clearance, expect after takeoff to uh, fly and climb to 5,000 feet, contact channel seven for radar vectors, and they will put you on radar downwind. I have positioned us here on the radar downwind, kind of a little bit on the inside of Iowa Park and Iowa Park here on the left side. And then on the right side, you have the prison, so you can orient yourself radar downwind. You might, ex yeah, you might actually be a little bit further to the west than what I'm showing here. However, uh, at this point, we are proceeding to the north, ish three three zero heading towards the Red River. Repcon expects that you cancel at some point, so a good point to cancel is once you have identified where you are, go ahead and cancel. I suggest as a good technique to stay at 3,300 feet until you are north of the Red River and have actually identified the Grandfield Towers and are fully aware of their position because they are 2,300 feet high and you definitely don't want to fly into those. Once you are ensuring that you're clear of the Grandfield Towers here, you would want to continue your descent to 2,300 feet. Make sure that during the false pattern after you cancel, you're staying clear of Tinner's pattern at all times. Stay north of the river, that will ensure that you stay clear of Tinner's pattern. And then we aim for the northern side of the railroad bridge here. Be no later than nine miles at 2300 feet, and that is to ensure altitude deconfliction in addition to ground track deconfliction from Straden's Fortinus pattern. Back yourself up here with a localizer as a good technique. Crew coordination wise, confirm Delta, Tinner, Center lined up on center to avoid landing on the wrong runway. Five miles for runway 15 center is at 6.5 DME based off of channel 45. And the visual reference is the southern edge of Burke Burnett.